Good morning everyone and welcome to West Norfolk. So I'm actually in my camper van at the moment and I've actually just come off of a night shift. So lucky old me has got the privilege of being a key worker. Although I did actually go to B&Q the other day and good old B&Q told me that the military didn't count as key workers. So it's okay for all the NHS staff to do TikTok dances in empty hospital wards, but the military don't count as key workers. So top job, top uh, customer service from uh, B&Q. You forgot Afghan and Iraq quite quickly, didn't you? Um, <laughs> enough whinging. Um, what, what are my intentions today? Well, this will be a quick, more raw kind of video than what you're used to. I'm filming on the G80 um, because I'm using the G9 for taking photos today. And I'm just in a tiny little lay-by. Um, my route home from night shifts is a 10 mile journey. I've basically got the direct route on 60 mile an hour roads or the back route, which takes me through the Barton Bendish area. And it's absolutely stunning. Beautiful, beautiful farmland. The sun's sort of risen about 15, 20 minutes ago and it's, it's just an absolutely beautiful, beautiful place to explore. So yeah, I'll have to excuse all my itching. I've just come off a night shift and uh, not in the best state, but I thought just with this lockdown, it'll be pretty cool to make a video. Now, some of you might start commenting and going, oh, you shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't be doing this in lockdown. Well, I'm probably not even gonna get out of the van. I intend to do it all here. I'm actually on my way home, so, I don't really see a problem with it. And considering that I've been on a night shift at work, I think this is probably the least dangerous part of my day. So, so far I've managed to get a couple of shots of a red kite that was perched on a telegraph pole just behind me. So yeah, basically it's just uh, gonna work my way home slowly but surely. And uh, let's see what we can find. Hey, I've spotted a few hares just in this field here. So one of the perks of a camper van photography is I can open this window and I've got a nice little base to photograph from. There's a hare just with a jack door, just in the field opposite. Beautiful scenery, look at this. This is, this is the scenery we're dealing with. <laughs> look at that. That is absolutely Awesome. Oh, there's a hair just up ahead. It's <coughs> just up ahead. scenery is absolutely stunning. This is probably the last bit of decent weather we've got for a few days because obviously um, obviously I'm now off work for a few days so the weather's pretty much going to turn crap again. It's always the way when I'm off work. I think we'll move slightly on further down the road. Let's see what happens. Road in. Road in. Two 
roe deer. Okay, we've got two roe deer just off in the distance. Uh, they are running away. Oh, they're definitely running away. That's a little bit annoying. They were originally quite close to the road, but obviously my van is not exactly the most conspicuous thing in the world. Uh, they've seen that pull up and sort of ran off. No, far too far away. Ah, oh, not ideal. Not ideal. So the next stage of the plan, um, I'm only about a couple of miles from where I live. Um, I'm gonna carry on driving, but just take a little detour around near the back of my house. At the minute, we've probably got about another hour of good light. We're in that kind of golden hour period. Um, the light is really soft, really beautiful soft lighting. Um, but this is the problem. At the end of the day, this is just, uh, it's unplanned. Um, Things can go either way. I've got beautiful lighting, beautiful conditions, but the wildlife isn't really here this morning. So all I can do is kind of carry on and uh, see what happens. Oh, do you like my uh, lockdown here, by the way? Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> someone's house. I'm going to try and get a shot of him. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Perfect. So at least we got one shot this morning, at least. <laughs> okay, so we're now home. Um, night shift complete. Um, admittedly, that wasn't exactly how I intended the video to go but as someone said to me as a comment on my last video um, when life gives you lemons make lemonade hopefully we've made at least a little bit of lemonade this morning so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed the experience at least what I'll probably do now is edit the photos and then get them up at the end of the video so Thank you very much for watching. If somehow you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, it's really important. Um, also, just leave your comments if you've got any questions, and I will definitely see you on the next one. Take care, I'm off, I'm off to bed, <laughs> I need it. <laughs> <laughs>